counter and outage, report it at LES.com slash report. Are you ready to take your seating season to the next level? Now is your chance at Landmark Implements Early Order Program. Don't miss out on the best deals of the season on new John Deere air seeders and drills, including the N500C Central Commodity System. Experience the ease of operation with the new N500C's intuitive design, simplifying your seating process and saving you valuable time in the field. Lock in the largest cash discounts, snag the best financing rate, and ensure availability on a new drill. Contact your local Landmark location for full details and experience the Landmark difference. Sick of being upsold at gyms? My guy, you're currently a base member. For $90 more, I can upgrade you to our Shred membership. For $130 more, you'll be a Swole member. And for just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. Never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for every workout. It's fitness that fits your budget. Join Planet Fitness for just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details. This is Lancaster County Attorney Pat Condon reminding you to vote for my friend and colleague, Carolyn Bozin. Carolyn Bozin is a strong voice for Lincoln, who we need representing us in the legislature. Carolyn Bozin voted for historic funding for education to support our schools and for the largest property tax relief package in Nebraska history. Carolyn Bozin is the voice we need representing us in the legislature. This is Lancaster County Attorney Pat Condon. Join me in supporting Carolyn Bozin for legislature on May 14th. Paid for by Bozin for legislature. At Doan University, we build leaders. And that means your success and achievements come first. At Doan University, your future is uniquely yours. And our world-class liberal arts education is just the beginning. We invite you to schedule your campus visit and experience why Doan University will start you on your journey to your future career. Learn more by scheduling your personal campus visit today at doan.edu slash visit. See you soon. Hey, Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you are passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. This is 93.7 The Ticket. Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. Three-time national champion, Vershawn Jackson. Touchdown! Vershawn Jackson, number 34. Gets the touchdown. Terrell Farley. Terrell Farley. Terrell Farley. Defending Terrell Farley. Who last week in his first start was a holy terror. Number 43. And Jake Bakovic. I popped a few catch. He said that Bach got some game, man. Coming at you live from the Coppel Chevrolet GMC studios in the heart of Lincoln, America. On air and online at theticketfm.com. Powered by Bauer. Here he is. For Sean Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me, Bob? Oh, we can hear you. Okay. Yes, sir. We on 1040 O Street, 93.7, the Captain Show, and we are powered by Bauer. It's Bach in the black shirt. And we got DP in the house getting it to be a regular on the Captain Show. So we got a lot to talk about, Bob. Um, we're going to talk about practice that I've seen Saturday. We're going to talk about the national championship game last night. We're going to talk about John Calipari. We're going to talk about, ooh, college football release date for EA Sports, the college football 25. So we're going to talk about that. But, DP, what a game last night. Well, Zach Eady got his. Mm. Yeah, I – I think for most people, it played out the way you could see it playing out. That it, it uh, I, I said this about the women's game Sunday, that a a great team with great players will beat a great team with a great player. 
and it required that Purdue have the the night that they did not have here at PBA. Mm-hmm. Like Nebraska fans had a probably a a, a, a clear advantage of how this was going to go if it wasn't going to go well for Purdue. <laughs> like they saw it at PBA. It was like, oh, ball movement, uh, right decisions with the ball, uh, tough defense in, in, in spots of the floor, make Edie work for it, but also take away option number two. Like do your battle with Edie, make options two and three, uh, get off their spots, and if they're not hitting threes, then Purdue is beatable. That's what, that's what UConn found out last night. Oh, yeah. Two and three was non-existent. So, you know, and, and the thing, he had no help. It was him by himself. Early in the first half, he was, I don't know, he had about 16 points early in the game when it was like 26 to 26. That's the last time I watched it. Then I turned back on, and it got ugly. So, you know, congratulations <laughs> to UConn. And they're one of those true blue bloods that that has their up year. They had their down year. and But lately they've been on their up year, the first team, since what uh, Florida that went back to back? So Here, here's the thing I'll ask you both, right? And and this is the thing that sits with me. That's that's UConn. And for those that have been to stores, Connecticut, like if you've been to to Bristol, if you've been to Providence, Rhode Island, if you've been to that area, you're not talking about a mecca, a hub. You're not talking about an easy to get to place. And if UConn can figure out how to be the dominant fort in basketball for both men and women. Like, it's a factor factor. Like, top five in both programs. If you can do that there, you should be able to do that anywhere. Like, that excuse, oh, it's hard to to get people to come here. Oh, it's hard to recruit here. Oh, no. No. Get you some get you some coaches and some <laughs> leaders and some people. That's UConn. That's UConn. Yeah, their you know their football program leaves a lot to be desired because that requires massive numbers, right? That requires 125 elite people plus that requires 30 grown-ups in the room. Basketball requires five, and UConn has figured it out in both sports. And it's just and Villanova's right down the road. Syracuse, like there are ways to, to for this to work. People should be copying UConn. If you're anybody outside of the, the, the big two conferences, as a matter of fact, even within the big two conferences, if you're the Big Ten, I, I'm I'm getting in UConn's playbook. The recruiting playbook, I'm getting into their style of play, I'm getting into their personnel playbook. <laughs> I need to figure out because there's no reason with all the resources of the Big Ten, that they can't get UConn good. Well, and that's what's interesting, too, is the Big Ten has had their own drought since the year 2000, since Tom Izzo got a title. Um, and and, and it's, not, it's not that they haven't been close. They're 0-8 now in championship games, and that's with seven different teams, um, with only Michigan being a repeat performer. And so, I mean, that's kind of an interesting part. There's so many interesting parts that, that kind of break down, um, but part of it is is kind of what you're saying, too, is, is UConn, and it's... It, it, the, the, there's the argument of is UConn a blue blood, and it's hard to argue now um, because I mean, if, if you go with the the the, the definition of blue blood, um, you know, you might think that you have to originally or at some point be. But if you if you get enough titles, and they have six titles since 1999, like now you're 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 a blue blood. You you've 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 made yourself into uh, that type of team where historically. You've got to talk about UConn, and that's what's impressive, too, is now it's six titles with three different coaches. I didn't think anybody would, would catch Jim Calhoun for the reasons that you're saying. I mean, it's Soros Connecticut. It's, it's not, you know, they, they, they made do with what they had with uh, Khalil El-Amin and, and you know, Jake Voskel and Richard Hamilton back in the day. And that, I mean, that was quite a, a title back in 1999. But to imagine that they'd be where they are now, even a couple of years ago, remember when they rejoined the Big East? And it wasn't it was it wasn't as huge of a deal as it would be today because their program was down a little bit. But Dan Hurley has has found a way to get that thing going. And if you listen to the the uh, the uh, the, uh, the interview afterwards, he's you know he's talking about NBA guys playing team basketball, and that's what he's been able to to work out and figure out there. And the Hurleys are just a family of winners to begin with, so they've got something in their blood that, that they can they figured out. Well, we need to go to their family reunion. Yeah. <laughs> like, let's find out, like, who, 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 who the cousin 
of Bobby and Dan Hurley. <laughs> Get a Hurley on campus. Like, huh? you know, find out you know, who it is. Like, just, you know, anyone, anyone here <laughs> not working. Mom, mom, you got any, you got any interest in being a coach? <laughs> I, I just think from the recruiting thing that, and I don't want to bury the lead in that UConn and the folks in Omaha have figured out a style of play and then a type of player who fits that. And there is a Swiss Army knife, almost European basketball feel to UConn and Creighton, right? All above average length, above average height, above average shooters, but top-level defenders at every position on the floor. Like, I, I loved the, 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 the response last night. You said, yeah, they were bringing lockdown defenders off the bench. That's what you should be doing. Mm -hmm. Like, again, Nebraska figured that. Give Nebraska credit, right? When they go to their bench, they got some dudes who will come off the bench and get in your shirt, right? It's not at the level of UConn, but it's within reach. Like, it's not unforeseeable that Nebraska can go, even with the signing yesterday or the commitment yesterday, that you get a big who who gives you some of the things you're going to need to be consistently good in the Big Ten Conference. Now, it, it won't take you to UConn Heights because you need a bunch of those guys. And that's that's the state. But you can listen, it's you UConn. I mean, think about that. Five titles on the on the on the men's side, six on the on the men's side, and then Gino is just Gino. Like He's on the Mount Rushmore when it comes to women's coaches. That that's phenomenal to, that you could do that at a UConn. So everybody else is on notice now. Yeah, you know, if you're an athletic director and your your basketball coach is you know, getting paid really well and he's not winning, uh, like yeah, you know, we we just point to UConn. I'm just gonna have a sign that says UConn, <laughs> and I'm just gonna hold it up in the gym. <laughs> he's just standing up in the office above practice, <laughs> and just with a sign that says UConn. <laughs> well, it's interesting. Uh, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Ahead. you go ahead. Bob. Oh, I, I just I wanted to, to piggyback off of DP's the thoughts earlier about you know the the men's and the women's and some of the similarities that were there, and obviously the one that stands out is the Big Ten team is led by the best player on the court, maybe the best player in the nation, but just doesn't have the team. I mean, Braden Smith was the second best Purdue player. And, and like you said, DP, he was so bothered by their size. And, and of course he's going to be, he's, he's, a, he's a rather small guy. Um, but Purdue had, I mean, their, their team defense limited Purdue to any sort of shots uh, from beyond the arc that they could get. They finished with one, didn't they? They finished with one three pointer throughout a game only took seven I mean, that's incredible. But, you know, to another point, there is both South Carolina, who is the, the overwhelming dominant team in women's basketball the last couple of years, and UConn, both mm -hmm. both sides, each one back to back. But the impressive thing is they did it with different folks. Now, UConn had a few guys stick around, but like South Carolina had five new starters. Aaliyah Boston, the number one pick, gone. And they were able to reload and not just win another one, but not lose a game. And then here we are with UConn, the same thing. I mean, you they lost... I mean, three guys to the NBA last year and just reload. And, 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 and it's, it wasn't like they made a magical run. They were arguably the best team all year. Yeah, it's okay. So they were having this discussion about the women's side, right? And of course, you know, sometimes the folks with the loudest voices get it wrong in driving the conversation. We, 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 we buried the lead and missed the headline when it comes to women's basketball this season. I get what Caitlin Clark did, and I get why it matters. But the real story for basketball was sitting down in South Carolina, right? That if you can totally take your starting, your best five players and take them out of the system and then find another group of 12 young women to play basketball in completion at its, at its highest level, to play basketball, the styles of play between South Carolina and UConn men, you could interchange them. Don Staley could coach that men's UConn team. The UConn coach can, could go over and coach USC because how they coach what they coach is the thing. High IQ basketball, high effort, high energy. Hey, we're going to advance the ball. Hey, we're going to get to good spots on the floor. Hey, Bach likes it right here, this quarter three. Hey, guess what? 
uh, Baco had to beat us in the mid range because <laughs> I'm getting him <laughs> off that spot. Farley likes to blitz. Uh, no, nah, you're gonna have to sit and, and, and be in this run, this run fit, bro. <laughs> like that's, a, that's a tackle for loss, right? that's, that's, <laughs> but that's but that's really like Farley. Imagine that, yes, what Coach Osborne did, but his rules of engagement is why he could just bring so many players, different types of players. Because the the guy that played the position in before you didn't play it the way you did. But the rules of engagement for how he played it, Farley, if you're going to do this, if you see this, then do this. I'll allow you to be great in your personal way. But here are the things that we have to do well. And I, I, I think watching it from a coaching standpoint, man, the, the, it – we buried the lead in that, yeah, it's great to have a, a Caitlin Clark player, but what's the likelihood that Iowa finds a Kate, Caitlin Clark replacement to p- keep them where they are? No, no. <laughs> Not, yeah. what, what, what LA and I say? No, no. <laughs> Farley, it's, it's, it's a real thing, bro. Just to I get think they still got enough power to win the Big Ten. I mean, I don't know that they do. I Listen, yeah, without, Iowa, Caitlin, I don't know. without Caitlin Clark, they don't beat Nebraska. In the, in the championship without I mean, let, let me and, and, and let me not bury that lead that without Caitlin Clark and with the additions that Nebraska made right because the next Caitlin air quotes was the young lady Prince <laughs> from Elkhorn and if Iowa couldn't get her and Nebraska got her one it doesn't change style of play it allows it it changes how you're allowed to play <laughs> which is entirely different Without Caitlin Clark, Iowa does not beat Nebraska in the championship game. It just doesn't happen. Now, Nebraska has its own issues and things that it has to work on. But really good coaches create programs and culture, right? Rules for engagement. The players will come and go. What you need, if I'm a coach, I just need to make sure that, you know what? 75% of what can go, that has to go right, I have control over. That That's... A program that was the Nebraska era, that was the Syracuse Jim Beheim era, that was the John Thompson era, that was the 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 Pat Summit era. Pat had just a bunch of really good players come in. Why? Because she made them better by installing rules that kept them kept them good. And I think that's just what's happening in sports. It's pretty. I mean, look, I I was kind of thrilled last night that UConn got there. Because it just changes, it just wipes away a whole lot of the nonsensical discussion over, well, you know, NIL is going to change it. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Transfer Porter is going to hurt it. No, <laughs> not if you know what you're doing. <laughs> Don Staley down there going, you don't hear me talking about NIL. Mm-hmm. I don't need to come down here and have, you know, 12 players making $200,000 a year. Nope. You want to come down here and win? You want to come down? Her price. Her- the way she handled her, the men on who handle her practice squad. How many programs have you heard go in full about the men that they practice against? Oh yeah, I've I seen that only on ESPN. I told I told Bach about it a couple of months ago that they practice against men, so it yeah. keeps them physical. I mean, well, and- well, Nebraska does too. Nebraska has has a men's team that they practice against. Most most women's basketball uh-huh. teams do, right? And it's yeah, and it's. But to have them highlighted, when I, te- when I tell people that transparency shows me that you have control over your team and program, and when you put up blocks to, hey, I don't want you to see, I don't want you to know, that tells me, mm, you ain't about that, you ain't about that life. Like, when you open you in, they, they showed the, the video of Dawn opening, you know, that opening night of practice, and the conversations that are there. I just love the fact that UConn said, this is who we are. This is what we do. We do what we do better than you can. And we're going to stop you from doing the stuff that you're really good at. For, for 35, 40 nights a year, they're the best team in the country. And they, they got their coronation. They got that, they got that chip last night. Mm, you know what Dunn Staley telling them guys that's, 
that that's on the practice with them. Mm. She like Oprah. You get a ring. You get, you a, get ring. a ring. <laughs> you get a ring. You get a ring. Everybody uh, gets a ring. <laughs> All right, the captain show the fast two hours of radio has started. Ninety three point seven. The ticket. We'll be back. Rashawn Jackson here for Bauer Infrastructure, a veteran-owned local company proudly serving Lincoln, Lancaster County, and the surrounding areas. Bauer provides quality work at an affordable price, and they're growing rapidly. If you want to experience a career with a fast-paced, family-friendly environment, visit BauerInfrastructure.com. They have top-of-the-line benefits, year-round work, even through the winter. Bauer, usher in the new era of infrastructure to an area near you. And as always, go Big Red! Hey guys, it's Bill Bush. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty has opened a new location in Pender, Nebraska, in addition to their office in Lincoln. The real estate world can be confusing, so why wouldn't you want an expert helping you every step of the way? If you're looking to buy or sell farmland in Nebraska, Kansas, or Iowa, give Ethan Sorensen a call today at 402-380-0432 or visit them online at nextagrealestate.com. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty with locations in Lincoln and now Pender, Nebraska. 93.7 The Ticket. Fox KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today. We'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds. Napping high around 67. Tonight, mainly clear with calm winds and a low around 40. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild temperatures. Napping high around 70. I'm meteorologist Kyle Fletcher for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Spring often marks the beginning of severe weather, which can lead to power outages. LES wants you to be prepared before the storm. Restock your emergency kit, update your info with LES, and if you encounter an outage, report it at les.com slash report. What's your radon level at home? Don't know? Find out with a call to Bryant Air Conditioning and Heating. 467-1111 for radon testing and mitigation. Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Attention all Wings fans, 89 Cent Wings are back on Tuesdays at Buffalo Wings and Rings in Lincoln. Enjoy the best wings in town for boneless or traditional at a price that makes the whole family happy. And now at the Williamsburg Village Wings and Rings, you can enjoy $1.50 Tall Boys in Bud Light, Coors Light, Bush Light, and Michelob Ultra every day after 7 p.m. and all day on Sundays. Get to Wings and Rings today and make sure to stop by on Tuesdays for 89 Cent Wings. Hey there, fellas. It's your girl, Jordan, with Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Women may be complicated, but I make sure buying jewelry isn't. Your gal has a style, and you can figure this out. Is she more of a classic necklace kind of gal, or does she rock the boho chic vibe with layers of delicate bracelets? This is crucial intel. Not trusting your intel? Stop in the store, and we'll sort out the details. I promise to make this super easy. Until next time, this is Jordan at Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Happy shopping, guys. Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? The Electrical Workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Ooh, what a day. I could sure use an afternoon pick-me-up. Hold up. The new 93.7 The Ticket location has a milk, coffee, and tea inside? Oh, yeah. This is a game changer. Need an afternoon pick-me-up? How about a coffee or smoothie on your way to work? Stop by the Ticket Mill location on 1040 O Street to get your go-to drink or try out our new game day drinks exclusive to the Ticket Mill location. We know it'll make your day a mill yen times better. A team succeeds when they work together. Banking's no different. At UBT, we're in your corner for every financial move you want to make. Your money's backed by a roster of experts who put in the work to know you and your community. So whether you're opening a savings account, buying a home, or planning your future, you always know who to turn to. 
working together toward your financial goals. That's a win in our playbook. Union Bank and Trust, Equal Housing Lender Member FDIC. Are you ready to take your seating season to the next level? Now is your chance with Landmark Implements Early Order Program. Don't miss out on the best deals of the season on new John Deere air seeders and drills, including the N500C Central Commodity System. Experience the ease of operation with the new N500C's intuitive design, simplifying your seating process and saving you valuable time in the field. Lock in the largest cash discount, snag the best financing rate, and ensure availability on a new drill. Contact your local Landmark location for full details and experience the Landmark difference. Back with Vershawn Jackson, powered by Bauer, on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Welcome back to 93.7 The Ticket, the Captain Show. We are powered by Bauer, Bauer, Infrastructure, Bauer, Underground, Red Excavating. Big shout out to Big Slim and the boys out there working hard. The weather is getting good, and it might be some real Saturday. So if I got your number, you might get a phone mm-hmm. call. You don't have a phone. Hey, Bob. <laughs> hey, now I got, hey, you. I'm, hey, look. Look at this what right are you here. Gonna, what are you going to ribs by carrier pigeon? <laughs> are you going to message? Yeah. Are you going to? I'm a smoke singer. Like, <laughs> hey, I'm, hey, I'm a. Hey, that, hey, I'm a Hey, way from where I stay at, you gonna see that. Say, <laughs> they gonna say DP, come. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Get some ribs. Look, dude, I got dude, a number dude right here. On a bike messenger. Like, <laughs> hey, with so, a note. So this morning, uh, trying to get my sprinklers on. So, um, yeah, I looked at about eight YouTube videos for an hour. I thought I got my confidence up. Then I was like, nah, I can't do it. I'm scared. Don't want to bust the head on it. Yeah. But. You didn't end up doing it? No, I still no. like, I still yeah. haven't touched it. I got a friend named Tyler Berry. Um, he's going to, I'm going to go find him today. Well, he stays up the street from me. He was a former neighbor of mine. Um, great guy. I'm going to go see if I can hunt him down. But I said I was going to get somebody out the radio to come help me. And then I was going to zap him with the men in black zapper gun and they'll just be in Walmart parking lot <laughs> when they wake up. So, you know, they'll never know they've been over my house. So oh, yeah. if you come over and I don't know you, I got to zap you. So, but I need my sprinklers. Look, I what, my- kind of, what kind of, what kind of basement do you have? Like he had a closet of the basement where he keep people that didn't respond well to the staff. What is what is happening, Farley? It's what a, is happening over it's there? It's a big basement. Yeah, there's a Farley stud. Yeah. yeah, I know there's a special room down I, there I that nobody knows uh, about. I can have a special team meeting down there. Yeah, I know you could. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you kick off team. Come on in. Yeah, down there. I know the Farley's taking over the world club. Yeah. yeah. If if you don't run a punt back this year, I'm gonna slowly take it. All of them off the punt return. <laughs> that, that might that, that might be necessary. That might be necessary. Hey, Ed Foley is speaking today, by the way. Uh, so we'll, we'll wait to hear from that. Maybe uh, the special teams can, <laughs> can improve this year. Now, <laughs> before you get started, Bach, on what we're going to talk about, uh, I when we talk about Blue Bloods of college basketball, mm-hmm. I'm not going to name them right now, but I think it's four of them. Hmm. It's four of them. No matter what their name is, no matter who's the coach, kids are still going to go there. I think it's four of them. So, Bob, go ahead with your what we're gonna start off on. Don't don't answer the question yet. Don't don't guess which four. Don't guess which four yet. Oh, but okay. Go ahead and start off that one. What we're talk, going to talk about? Uh, I'm lost. We, I think you Perry. hit me with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah. Maybe you hit me with that men in black thing. On, I forgot Bach. what you're talking about. But uh, yeah. So John Calipari, <laughs> <Taser>. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I must have got him. <laughs> Bach, you been to Farley's house? Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Sometimes I think it's just it, it, you know. You, most times I can remember things, but once in a while I have a glitch in my brain uh, from that <laughs> from that experience. That is hilarious. Uh, but John Calipari, yeah, is, is I mean, in, in a very shocking move. Uh, the other day is, is is set to sign a five year deal with Arkansas. Um, of course, you know there's all this pressure on them after the the loss to Oakland, um, and it's it's very strange because all of this started with a move from SM. What, what was it from USC to SMU, uh, which seemed like a lateral move to begin with, uh, if that. And so Eric Musselman in, at Arkansas ended up taking the USC job, and that left the Arkansas job open, where Calipari uh, will take. Uh, that means that he's not going to get the $33 million in the buyout that, that was going to be owed to him. Um, and it, it just kind of finishes a, a very interesting run for Calipari at Kentucky, where he was altogether 410 and 123. 
Uh, imagine putting that coach on the hot seat. Um, but that's that appears to me maybe the reason why he left uh, is just to get a, a, a new set of eyes looking at him that would be happy with what he's doing, which is sending guys to the, the NBA. They're not necessarily winning the last couple of years at Kentucky. Um, so that's kind of all the background to it. But yeah, Calipari to Arkansas it, within conference, of course, in the SEC, going to be incredibly intriguing. And if you ask him about it while he's walking his dog, he'll tell you he's walking his dog and to leave him alone. We found that out yesterday. Too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, DP, you, you got the flow. Okay. So, Outside of every program is a is a mat is a is a what do you call the marquee that tells you what the program is about, and the rule the 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 thing that people say is be careful what you say about yourself. People will start to believe you. And so Calipari has told everyone as loud as he can say it, as often as possible, I'm here to make you money. Give me the best players. Not once in that is he talking about winning at Kentucky or wherever it is. Give me the best players in this market, and I will help you become an NBA multimillionaire. Be careful what you you say because people are going to believe you because he believes that no matter where he goes, he's going to be able to pull enough players who think more about when making millions of dollars after their college career rather than what they do within their college career. I will teach you some good things while you're here so that you can go do greater things when I'm gone, which is okay and good because there are families that need that. But also if you're, if you're the, if you're Arkansas, you have just signed a commitment that you are not in it for longevity. You're not in it for immediate, you're, you're changing the, the business plan, right? Because why? Because the college business plan is changing. So you need to do it different. Kentucky got caught with pants down. They got caught with pants down. And you think you need to be in the blue blood program to make money. That's not the case anymore. UConn is shredding. That Creighton is shredding, right? You, you <laughs> that belief that you have to be. You talk about the blue blood programs. That is, that's never going to change because history uh, belongs to the heroes. But the forward business is changing, and this is why I I want to circle it right that Creighton UConn, and I want to. I'm going to bother some people when I say this, that Nebraska has to be in that club because that's resource-based, motivation-based, mission-based, right? What does Nebraska want to be? You want to be Arkansas? You want to be Kentucky? You want to be, what do you want to be? You want to be UConn? What do you want to be? This is where people are having the struggle now is figuring out who who they want to be pretty quickly because it's about to be a new game and not everybody's prepared for it. Arkansas, that strikes the first fire. Like that's the first blow is Arkansas going, well, we're the basketball business of making millionaires and dealing with millionaires. So guess what? We're going to do that. Everybody else down has to follow. We got to dance. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> For me, it's kind of different because I believe that I used to like Kentucky. You know, I'm a flopper on basketball, but I think they're a true blue blood um, college um, college basketball team. You know, going back from the days from Jamal Mashburn to when Rick Pitino was there to Tubby Smith and then a couple more coaches. And, and, and I believe that they're one of those programs, like my four from of the blue blood, North Carolina, Duke, uh, UConn, and Kentucky, like, they don't care who the coach is. Them players are still going to go there because of the name of that school. And, and I'm not sh- – let me let me ask, because I'm old school. I'm old school. If you're going to talk blue blood basketball, college basketball. Well, from, from when I was growing up. So UCLA is, is the is, – is yeah, the, right? Yeah, like, way before me. Right? Like UCLA yeah. is it of it of it of yeah, it. Yeah, Kentucky, we forget the, eight, the, the rough year. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? That 
that's what started this Kentucky Blue Blood. It wasn't Sam Bowie yeah. and Jack Givens. It was you got to go back. I mean, four, four titles, right? right like yeah. you got to, yeah, you got to go back. And they built it, and their programs. And people forget that Louisville was a part of that. Louisville was a part of that. Georgetown wasn't a part of it. But you can't talk, you can't talk college back the history of college basketball without talking about that Hoya run. You, you've got to talk about Syracuse and Bayheim. You've got to talk about Michigan and the Fab Five. You've got to talk. Like, there's there's pockets of this thing. And this is where Michigan is having issues. Because Michigan, in their minds, Michigan's on the Mount Rushmore of basketball programs. In their mind. The reality is, Varley, nah, dog. <laughs> like, you had to have Juwan Howard, and it still doesn't work. Like you brought in a dude. That's like having Jordan in North Carolina. Well, he want to fight. Yeah, he, like, he'd rather fight than coach. Yeah, like so, it, you know. What, what, that's the thing, right? That you have to. Why would you want? Juwan belongs in the NBA. He always belonged in the NBA. It's like Harbaugh, and it, is he an NFL guy or an NFL uh, college guy? Sometimes you make the mistake of thinking that I need to cross over. Saban was like, "I want to be an N NFL guy." No, you don't. No, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> That one, ain't for you. One year. No, yeah, no. like that ain't for you. Well, heck, the whole reason Howard, John Howard was in there is John Beeline tried the right. business for like two weeks and then gave up on it. Right. Like you go, uh, <laughs> no, nah, that's not what we're doing. So, our, listen, Blue Blood to me, and again, Carolina because of the branding and because of the moments in the depth, right? That, that Tobacco Road, Tobacco Road is really a thing. Okay, cool. Then Kentucky and UCLA because UCLA, to me, it 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 is a crime that that but we remember they were just recently final four regular, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Going to Westwood to spend your four years in Los Angeles, California, in the with the palm trees and playing basketball where you can play basketball year round. That sells. That sells. Coming to the Big Ten, by that, the way. Like, yeah. yeah, like that's a that's a thing. Which Bach, you just you just hit a home run because. USC and UCLA will change Big Ten recruiting because all these Midwestern snow kids get a taste and get flown out to California and go, wait a minute. Wait a <laughs> year round? Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, be careful taking them out there. That Kim, Kar portal might come that, yeah. that. Kim, Kim Kardashian? <laughs> gonna oh be at, like, go, like all the social media folks are going to be at my, at my games now. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, they making movies out here? Wait a minute. When it's basketball <laughs> season, too, so you're literally going from the snow. From the snow to, <laughs> to 70 like, degrees. Oh, this is a beautiful <laughs> campus. <laughs> like, yes, it, it all is. of it, like, this is what's beautiful about it. All of this is, like, I don't know if the Big Ten really thought it through <laughs> that they are inviting the, 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 the wolf, the fox into the, into, into the chicken coop. Like, you let them in, and you think for a minute that, oh, wait. I can play football in the snow in January or I can play in December, November, or I can play in the sunshine at the Rose Bowl. Some of those players are going to make that decision. Well, and it's interesting, too, because I, I always kind of think about Caleb Williams because, like, what do you want as a player? Because Caleb Williams and Norman said, I can't, I can't go to the grocery store without having a mob around me. <laughs> and he liked being, you know, no, now transitioning to L.A. He liked the fact that he could walk freely, go anywhere. I mean, People might see him, but they're not starstruck. And so, I mean, it just kind of depends on what do you want to be the guy in, uh, you know, somewhere in Indiana, or do you want to be one of the guys, but not bothered so much in UCLA? I was asked this, I was literally this weekend, um, that folks were watching the game and they compared Caitlin Clark to Jimmy Chitwood from Hoosiers, hmm. <laughs> right? And said, that's why everybody roots for her. Everybody loves Jimmy Chitwood. I think about this. That there are people, because Jimmy Chitwood had to be where he was. He couldn't be in, in the Oscar Robertson, Albert Maxey style of play. He had to play exactly as, and he wouldn't have been comfortable anywhere else, mm. right? So yeah. there are going to be folks that want to stay here and do what they do. But Arkansas, Calipari, money starting to move, business, basketball business, just with with with, with uh, Gordon Sullivan said, Jim Ross said, business is about to pick up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Basketball business. Bob, what's your four, Bob? 
Well, I don't know if I could bring it down to four because the, the interesting thing is, we were like, UConn is kind of a new blood, blue blood. Yep. Duke was at one time that. I yep. mean, we, we think of Duke now as being that because uh, Coach K won five titles, but, you know, before, you know, mid 80s, that wasn't the case. And now Indiana kind of has an identity crisis similar to Nebraska football of like, mm-hmm. are they a blue blood still? Because they haven't won in long enough. So Ooh. I think there's more than four of myself. But. All right. Take us out, Bob. All right. We'll take uh, we'll take a quick break here on the cap. We'll be back with more talk on 93.7. The If the week's been too hectic to even think about dinner, or your family can't handle one more night of leftovers, then it's time to let Hogwild do the cooking. Hogwild's family packs are one heck of a good deal for a complete barbecue meal loaded with all the smoked meats, tasty sides, buns, and sauces you need to feed your family. Order online at GoHogWild.com. Hogwild Pit Barbecue, 3210 Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. But don't be late, we close at 8. Hi, I'm Senator Bobau. I was born and raised in Lancaster County, learning the value of hard work and grit at a young age. I built my own company, creating jobs right here in our community. I know that families and businesses in our community need lower taxes, lower cost of health care, and a great education. That's why as your senator, I helped pass the largest tax code and made the most significant investment in education in Nebraska history and worked to reduce the cost of health care. I'm Senator Bo Ballard, and I humbly ask for your vote on May 14th. Paid for by Ballard for Nebraska. Hey guys, it's Bill Bush. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty has opened a new location in Pender, Nebraska, in addition to their office in Lincoln. The real estate world can be confusing, so why wouldn't you want an expert helping you every step of the way? If you're looking to buy or sell farmland in Nebraska, Kansas, or Iowa, give Ethan Sorensen a call today at 402-380-0432 or visit them online at nextagrealestate.com. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty with locations in Lincoln and now Pender, Nebraska. Whether you're looking for a place to stay for a concert at PBA, a Nebraska home game, or just a night on the town, the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket is the place for you. Enjoy an evening at one of many restaurants or bars within a short walking distance. Business travelers at the hotel will enjoy free high-speed internet access, a 24-hour business center, and large in-room workstations. And check out the Bistro, where you'll enjoy healthier food and beverage options, as well as high-tech conveniences. Book your room today at the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket. At Doan University, we build leaders, and that means your success and achievements come first. At Doan University, your future is uniquely yours, and our world-class liberal arts education is just the beginning. We invite you to schedule your campus visit and experience why Doan University will start you on your journey to your future career. Learn more by scheduling your personal campus visit today at doan.edu slash visit. See you soon. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Cobble Chevrolet GMC, and our annual spring sales event is now underway. We have absolutely huge savings right now at Cobble. New Sierras and new Silverados have a double whammy. Choose from APR starting at 1.9% or discounts over 9,000. Yes, that's right, 1.9% APR or discounts of over 9,000. So please take that short money-saving drive down 144th Street just south of the interstate or check us out online at CoppleCars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with approved credit. Nutrition Authority invites you to try Anarchy, which is an exciting free workout for athletes and fitness enthusiasts who want the most out of their workout. Anarchy can only be found at Nutrition Authority. Remember, when you want results, the solution is simple. Nutrition Authority. Stop in, call, or check us out at MyNutritionAuthority.com. Hey there, fellas. It's your girl, Jordan, with Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Women may be complicated, but I make sure buying jewelry isn't. Your gal has a style, and you can figure this out. Is she more of a classic necklace kind of gal, or does she rock the boho chic vibe with layers of delicate bracelets? This is crucial intel. Not trusting your intel? Stop in the store and we'll sort out the details. I promise to make this super easy. Until next time, this is Jordan at Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Happy shopping, guys. Sick of being upsold at gyms? My guy, you're currently a base member. For $90 more, I can upgrade you to our Shred membership. For $130 more, you'll be a swole member. And for just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. Never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for every workout. It's fitness that fits your budget. Join Planet Fitness for just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details.
You're spending $300 a month. Binge drinking is the most common form of excessive drinking, which costs the United States more than $191 billion each year. By drinking less, you will save $300 a month. If you or a loved one is looking for help, find a treatment facility near you at findtreatment.gov. For immediate support, call, text, or chat 988. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. <gasps> the Mill Coffee and Tea, formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11th, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. Spring sports are here and it's time to upgrade your equipment, but don't go rush into your big box store. Play it against sports is your place to go for all spring sports equipment for baseball, softball, golf, and disc golf. Play it against sports has quality, slightly to gently used equipment and 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And don't forget buying from them is a great way to get new products with great discounts by also bringing in your used items for store credit or cash on the spot. Play it against sports at 48th and Vine. Spring often marks the beginning of severe weather, which can lead to power outages. LES wants you to be prepared before the storm. Restock your emergency kit, update your info with LES, and if you encounter an outage, report it at LES.com slash report. Back with Vershawn Jackson, powered by Bauer, on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, welcome back to the Captain Show, 93 points. Not, ooh, 93.7 The Ticket, 1040 O Street. Bob. Bob, you there? I'm here, I'm here. Did you see the eclipse yesterday? <laughs> well, I tried to, and then uh, it hurt my eyes, so I didn't. Did you, did you, did you DP? <laughs> I, have, I have a job and things to do mm. all day. Okay. All day, I have things to do. I I have what y'all do. You know, the, I I think that is my my superpower is to be able to <laughs> more than anything else is just to go. What are y'all doing? Like I don't have to do everything y'all doing. Like yeah. I don't have to do everything what everybody doing. I I love the fact that I can just watch a train wreck. I can just watch and be curious and go. What are y'all doing? <laughs> oh, okay, have fun. <laughs> What only happens? Stuff. When's the next time it's going to happen? In like twenty know. years or something? Well, they say every twenty years, but happened seven years for ago. me. Yeah, for me, an eclipse yeah. is every day. Yeah, because once that eyelid go down, yeah. it gets a little dark, right. Right. and this other eyelid go yeah. down, yeah. it's an eclipse. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I'm asleep, so I'm like, yeah. I slept through it. I didn't even bar- worry about it. I had zero. So I would dare say that my friends fall into that spectrum that I like to work from. A third of them absolutely were going to, to to watch. A third of them, there's nothing, not even for cash, where you're going to get them to look. Yeah. And then the third in the middle who was just kind of going, hey, what are y'all doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sleeping? Oh, you looking? <laughs> okay. All right. And if it's inter- if one side's having a better day than the other, that's the side they're going to go to. Well, mm. I, I can appreciate, like, people that are in like i don't hobby shame if you love you know stars and planets and all that stuff then uh, absolutely but for me i was just sitting i was in here and i was kind of waiting i wanted to go look at it because i'd seen some videos online of people in wh- wherever it was the 100 yep. percent, and it would it make this complete darkness i thought that's going to be awesome i hope we get something like that and then you know i went back to the, the desk and i asked rico you know i waited you know i was like okay well it's starting to do it i go ask rico i was like oh, where is it at now he's like i think it's over and i said well, it didn't get dark. <laughs> you know, I was just kind of think, well, oh, I was waiting until it would get a little bit dark. So I just, I don't know if we were in the best did, path did here Rico, in Lincoln. Did Rico look? I, I think he did. He was somewhat, he's kind of like in my category, halfway yeah. interested because we're by a window. We might, you know, but not necessarily make planning our day for it. Yeah. Okay. I I, I kind of <laughs> expected that Farley would not. Like yeah. I, 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 yeah, yeah. I, he's not I, waking up for that. I, <laughs> and, and, and just to finish, just to finish the thought, we were talking about blue blood right mm. that if we only get four i think it has to be duke carolina ucla um kentucky and then there's the second group that's just a tier below we had not mentioned kansas because yeah. it's kansas 
Uh, <laughs> well, basketball was invented in Kansas, as far right. as they'll tell it, right? Right, <laughs> right, right, right. Like, yeah, this is mine. We we did it. Yeah, yeah. no, not really. Um, and then there's next level, folks. Michigan, Michigan State missing the conversation. Indiana being a part of the conversation in the next group. Um, and then here was the real one was that for women that it's South Carolina, Tennessee, UConn. And then I don't know who the number four program is for women. Maryland, Virginia had runs. Uh, Louisiana Tech had runs. I would say it's USC because of Cheryl Miller and the, the, the three pockets of players. And then Bach. College basketball, this is, this is, you ready? Mm -hmm. Mount Rushmore, college basketball players, based players. purely on your college career, right? Mm -hmm. Men, go. Well, we were talking about during the break. I mean, mm -hmm. some of these are the UCLA guys that won four titles or whatever. Right. Uh, yeah, so Lou Alcindor and I, I think Bill Walton. Um, and then you brought up Pete Maravich would probably be, be in there, all-time mm -hmm. leading scorer, mm -hmm. kind of a Caitlin Clark type of, type of category. Yep. And that fourth one's interesting, though. That's right. Farley, we missing anybody. Mm. You can't put Jordan in it because he didn't have the long-term run yeah. in college. Magic. Magic, but Magic only had Bird. one chip. Magic and Bird fall in the... Uh, in Kareem. The, in, I know Kareem. Right? Um, they fall in that category of of kind of we, we had the good run, we had the good moments. Stanford is right. Vanderbilt, yeah, weapon like that's a good one. Uh, Stanford mm -hmm. for the women, yeah, that that that's a good that's a good pull. Um, Danny Manning was close. Kristen Leitner. That's a good pick. I, I, I hate to say his name, yeah. but pretty good pick. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a I, and that would really upset people if that were true. Yeah, like that would really yeah. bother people. <laughs> But I would, talk about a moment. I can't, I, I can't think moment. of another player who has their own little thing that I hate Christian Leighton. Right. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, how how could you feel as a person for them to have a movie? I mean, I know you right. probably got paid good or, or however it goes, but man. Like, isn't that weird? And then for the women, and this is where people got caught, Caitlin Clark's her stats are phenomenal. But her career isn't in the Rebecca Lobo, Brianna Stewart, Cheryl Miller category because she didn't have the overall success. Grant Hill loses points because he did it with Christian Lane. Uh, Mateen Cleves had a great career. I'm not sure he's Mount Rushmore. Will is in the conversation. Good. That's a good pull. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. Yeah. Well, the other thing too, and, and I wanted to, to to mention this. I think I think it's partially just growing up in the Big Eight, Big Twelve, or this region of the country. I think Kansas would be the first, maybe the first name people think of around here when you think of blue bloods. And I think there are more than four, but for the this conversation, yeah. we've kind of limited to. Yeah. I mean, there might be six. It's well, not, I know it more than that, Bach. I just wanted yeah. to get four out of you. I just, I just, think, I, I know, Bach. I just think it's interesting <laughs> if we did say. Four, I think a lot of people here would start with Kansas, which was also interesting because when I was a kid and I went to the, the Nebraska basketball games, the big game always was Kansas. And it was just kind of funny because Barry Collier or whatever walked through and you go, hey, there's Barry Collier. And Roy Williams walked through and you just, everybody's clapping like, you know, and he never won a title there, which is interesting because yeah. Bill Self is kind of, I mean, you mentioned Danny Manning with Larry Brown's title there. Bill Self uh, kind of has brought that back with two titles there. So, I, I mean, to me, to me, I would put Kansas in my four. So I think it's just interesting. And maybe I would. And Indiana would fight you over. And Indiana might want to get Because we have him, a yeah. movie. We have a movie. Right. That's yeah. why, you know, yeah. yeah. Lynn Bias. Hey. Here's the. It, it, so, yeah, this is how this is how I like why I like coming in. We can kind of scramble. Let's take the break. And then we'll come back. I Here's the thing. There are two names that have come into play. And I think if you want to measure Caitlin Clark based on her inability to win co a, a college title. Is her career more Pete Maravich or is it more Ralph Sampson? Because Sampson was the back-to-back -back player of the year, never got the chip. Maybe David Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> ah. All right, you're listening to the captain here on 93.7 The Ticket. We'll be right back after this. 
is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM first. 93.7 The Ticket. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Cobble Chevrolet GMC. And our annual spring sales event is now underway. We have absolutely huge savings right now at Cobble. New Sierras and new Silverados have a double whammy. Choose from APR starting at 1.9% or discounts over 9,000. Yes, that's right. 1.9% APR or discounts of over 9,000. So please take that short money-saving drive down 144th Street just south of the interstate or check us out online at CoppleCars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with approved credit. Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? The Electrical Workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Attention all Wings fans. 89 Cent Wings are back on Tuesdays at Buffalo Wings and Rings in Lincoln. Enjoy the best wings in town for boneless or traditional at a price that makes the whole family happy. And now at the Williamsburg Village Wings and Rings, you can enjoy $1.50 Tall Boys in Bud Light, Coors Light, Bush Light, and Michelob Ultra every day after 7 p.m. and all day on Sundays. Get to Wings and Rings today and make sure to stop by on Tuesdays for 89 Cent Wings. <gasps> the Mill Coffee and Tea, formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11th, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. Used to spotty shop where our customers send their friends. That's the greatest compliment we can receive. If you've been in an accident, we'll get you back in your vehicle as quickly as possible. Our technicians care about you and your family and repair your vehicle to factory standards. We handle your claim from start to finish and provide a free loaner car. Stop by for a free estimate. Used to spotty shop, just south of 88th and Highway 2. The most recommended used to spotty shop. That's who we are. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. Grab a free burger and beer at LA Power Sports of Lincoln on April 27th during their Husker Spring Game Tailgate. Meet the LA Power Sports team, play some tailgate games with them, and enter for a chance to win an official John Elway autographed football. Check out their huge selection of boats and watercraft for the summer, along with hundreds of motorcycles, ATVs, and side by sides from all the major brands. Stop out and watch the game with them on April 27th at Way Power Sports of Lincoln, 27th and I-80. They'll be tailgating all day. Hey, Husker Nation. Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. Looking for a job that feels like family? Join Lincoln Industries, where tradition meets innovation. They're a family-owned, privately held manufacturing company with a passion for excellence and a commitment to their community. They have openings on all shifts at both the main plant and air park facilities, offering flexibility to fit your schedule. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, there's a place for you there. At Lincoln Industries, they invest in their people's success, providing opportunities for growth and advancement. Apply now and become a part of something special at Lincoln Industries. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs.
Nutrition Authority invites you to try Anarchy, which is an exciting free workout for athletes and fitness enthusiasts who want the most out of their workout. Anarchy can only be found at Nutrition Authority. Remember, when you want results, the solution is simple. Nutrition Authority. Stop in, call, or check us out at MyNutritionAuthority.com. Are you ready to take your seeding season to the next level? Now is your chance to Landmark Implement's early order program. Don't miss out on the best deals of the season on new John Deere air seeders and drills, including the N500C Central Commodity System. Experience the ease of operation with the new N500C's intuitive design, simplifying your seeding process and saving you valuable time in the field. Lock in the largest cash discounts, snag the best financing rate, and ensure availability on a new drill. Contact your local Landmark location for full details and experience the Landmark difference. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today. We'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds. Afternoon high around 67. Tonight mainly clear with calm winds and a low around 40. And tomorrow we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild temperatures. And afternoon high around 70. I'm meteorologist Kyle Clecker for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. This is 93.7 The Ticket. Look at me short. Look at me short. I'm the captain now. Three-time national champion for Sean Jackson. Touchdown. For Sean Jackson. Number 34 gets the touchdown. Terrell Farley. Terrell Farley. Terrell Farley. Defending Terrell Farley. Who last week in his first start was a holy terror. Number 43. And Jake Bakovic. I've talked a few cats. He said that Bach got some game, man. Coming at you live from the Coppel Chevrolet GMC Studios in the heart of Lincoln, America. On air and online at theticketfm.com. Powered go, by Bob. Bauer. Here he is, Sean Jackson. That drum set, Bach. <laughs> yeah. I, heard you, I, I heard you the other day. Bach, he broke it down. He broke Bach. Bach said, I can do it, but mine sound like gunshots. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I, I talked about Bach the next day because he uh. told me he was one of those guys that come to cookouts and don't bring nothing. So I was like, Bach, you got to bring <laughs> something. Hilarious. Spoons and forks or something. Hilarious. My smile. Yeah. Hilar- no, that, look, look, look. Hilarious. Farley, I was like, bring sodas, man. Yeah. Like, bring, what is yeah. happening? Bring potato chips. Just don't bring the potato with the raisins in it, Bob. Hey, okay? keep that to yourself. Yeah, keep, <laughs> that. keep that to yourself, bro. <laughs> keep that to yourself. Yeah, I, yeah, y'all, I want to thank y'all for waking up the dead ghost in me. Because <laughs> cause I, I'm not sure anybody outside of the players that we mentioned had a greater college career than Phil Ford. At North Carolina. Because in my era, NC State was a powerhouse with David Thompson, Tim Burl, uh, uh, Burleson. They had Burleson was seven foot four. Right? They were the in, they were the UCLA of the of the East. As much as Maryland with Tom McMillan and Elmore, John Lucas said that they were. But Phil Ford, I there is no, I think we all have that athlete that killed our favorite team so much that we made him the villain. And it, if you had asked me this question yesterday, I would not have given you the answer that is absolutely true. I don't hate as a, as, as a practice, but Phil Ford (laughs) is the athlete, the college athlete of my nightmares because this dude wore knee pad, a point guard that wore knee pads. Okay, mm. right? Like he wore knee pads and elbow pads. Farley. The point guard wore <laughs> knee pads <laughs> and elbow pads. And when he threw up the four, that meant your team, your favorite team, your favorite player was gonna lose. Mm. Like he would, and there were people in that era who just like if you walked in the basketball court, a pickup game. And somebody threw up the four at you as a, with the ball in your hand. You're like, oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bach, who is that for you? Who is the athlete that just crushed your your fan dreams? Uh, unf- I mean, <laughs> probably, probably. Probably a pro wrestler. Well, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a pro wrestler like Harley Race. Harley Race killed more more 
more happy moments for me. Yeah, moments. Yeah, like Harley Race, just like whoever my favorite wrestler was, Harley Race was going to give him the business, and I was going to go home sad. Well, I would say the late great Kobe <laughs> Bryant took away my my self my Celtics title that I wanted the most in 2010. But really, uh, <laughs> Metal World Peace, as he was known by then, yeah. he was hitting the threes that were daggers in that yeah. game. So it yeah. might even be him. <laughs> Farley, is there somebody that like when you when you were younger, you rooted for a team and they killed your team? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I used to like the Celtics back when they had Bird, Parrish, DJ Johnson, yeah, yeah. Um, that whole squad. I, I, I was Danny Ainge. Yeah, yeah, Danny Ainge. Just, it goes on. Chris but, Ford, y'all. Yeah. But um, yeah, um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the with the hook shot. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the game, I was just sickening with it. Who is that to Nebraska? Well, is, is it William Floyd? Yeah, I don't for for basketball. Well. For any sport, yeah, I think <laughs> Melvin Gordon has a pretty good argument, but right, not, like he, he he killed the program. He killed the he, he, he ended killed the, the program. Bobolini era. He yeah. killed the program, and they haven't got up since. But right. I, but in another in another way, Chris Brown and that Colorado team did that in two thousand one. When Nebraska going in at number one uh, against Colorado in two thousand one, and then they ran for they had sixty two yards. They were running everywhere. Chris Brown had like six touchdowns or something. Nebraska's never gotten back. Like literally, never gotten back to number one, and never gotten back to that that prestige. So whenever I think of a game that really crushed my dreams, yeah, it would be that sixty-two to thirty-six loss. OG says Billy Sims, but Billy Sims gave one, mm. like he took one and he gave yeah, one he back, gave one. right? Like he took one and he gave one back. Probably Jake the Snake. <sighs> there was mm. a lot of there was a lot after of getting beat bad a yeah, year before yeah, and yeah. giving up all those touchdowns he did, and he come back and. <laughs> And 19 to zip you. Sanderson said he hated Bird, but he hated Ainge worse. Yeah, th there was... Ainge was the guy that if you were not a Celtics fan, and I think, again, those three pockets, in that era, you were either a Celtics fan, a Lakers fan, or or other, and then... The you, bad boys. Right, you... Them. like Well, that's what happened. So the that third team always popped up. So whether it was the Bulls and whoever they were like they were going through, then the Knicks would pop up. Or if it was the Knicks and the Lakers, then the Celtics would pop up. It, then every now and then, you know, the Phoenix Suns would pop up. They'd get a run. <laughs> college, right? P college football, yeah. it was Nebraska, Oklahoma, and then Notre Dame would pop up, or Texas would pop up, or, hey, Florida. Florida, here comes Florida State. Oh, here comes the U. Miami Dynasty, yeah. Right? Like, there's a there, there's always the pockets of three that you, you kind of have to pay, in, pay attention to. There was Bird, there was Magic, and then that third other player. Ultimately, it was that way until Jordan showed up. Isaiah, like, Isaiah Thomas was the third, right? That, mm -hmm. that, is that the fair statement? Yeah, yeah. That Bird, Magic, Isaiah. And then Jordan, when Jordan bumped them out, everything was off. That, that's good. That's good. It lets me know who, who your people are, Farley. Who was your, I mean, you, that was your favorite team, though. Oh, yeah. And then I moved on. So I had several, several fine teams. So there. you're a sports gypsy, is what you're saying. Yeah. You I, move I, on. I kind of liked it. Um, For the NBA, at least. Yeah, I, I liked yeah. it. Portland when Scotty was there. What about the Atlanta Hawks? You like the Atlanta well, everything like, else? Uh, uh, they, Keith uh, only, only, only person they had. Well, they had three people that Atlanta really had good. Um, Dominique, Spud Webb, and Doc Rivers. I mean, when you, I mean, now you got Trey, um, Trey Young, yeah. Trey Young, but uh, we had Joe Johnson. Gave him up for a whole bunch of players. I saw um, Joe. Um, what's yeah. the player? What's the one we gave gave Boston? Um, Oh, Harford, this, yeah, 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 Al Harford. See, yeah. we give all the good players away. Atlanta never would be good at basketball. Yeah. I mean, they would always be that bottom tier, eight, nine, ten, never, playing team. Never forget the Josh Smith era. Oh yeah, Josh Smith. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah who cares? Yeah. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow, Bach. That is painful. That is painful to hear. <laughs> Josh Smith was always on the precipice. Like next year, he's going to take that step, that... and he never quite did. Oh, <laughs> that is the pain. <laughs> Ouch, bro. Like, <laughs> you need a hug. You need a hug just for saying that. No, the text line is good. They said uh, uh, that the, he said that John Elway, <laughs> it was his Barry Switzer uh, is a part of it. Uh, 
Harold Smith is just Dr. J. Yeah, Dr. J became that third, that third player that took the Sixers out of out of that. Now three. it's always one player that I hated to hit here when I play. Who's that? Lawrence Phillips. Too big. Just, just uh, massive, right? I, I've never seen a guy grit his teeth at you when you look at him in the hole. Like I met him, <laughs> I met him in the hole. Like <laughs> this, so this is true. Like he wanted it more. Yeah. Uh, he wanted it more. Uh, and and to tell you, I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't even make contact with the guy. Like you didn't. You know, I, I looked at him and <laughs> we were squared up in the hole. And I said, "Hey, somebody just tripped me up." <laughs> the turf monster. Yeah, and I and, <laughs> I, and, and I fell. <laughs> and, and I'm glad I did because he had a full head of steam. Like like it was. I was gonna probably be out for the rest of the year if I would have. It ran up against him. Well, Farley out here making business decisions yeah. in practice. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. He told me before. Yeah. yeah, like that. That's one guy that I probably would let run past me. Then I try to grab him in the back. He just yeah. jump on his back. Yeah, yeah. What, what they call them tackles with the hip, the <laughs> hip, hip drop. drop. Yeah, the hip drop tackle. That, <laughs> that, is, that, that's, that like I that that needs to be a clip of Farley. There's a moment. Think about this. That uh, there's a moment at practice where things slow down so much. That Farley meets him in the hole and can hear him growling. They can hear him <laughs> grinding. It, it, his it was teeth. the look he gave me. Like somebody I was, when saying, he was oh. angry. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he, he ran angry. But yeah. somebody said, do, do you close your eyes before you hit? I said, for what? I mean, I don't close my eyes. I, I want to see you. I gotta I gotta look you in your face so I can see what you're doing. But that day we met and his eyes didn't look right to me because I, I knew he was coming. <laughs> you know, he was like, he was like, get your out the way yeah. or they're going to pick you up off the turf. <sighs> I said, well, this is a good day just to get cussed out of front coach. I just <laughs> drop on the ground. <laughs> that take, is spectacular. Take me out, coach. <laughs> but, <sighs> you know, it's guys like that. I mean, a lot of people had a different opinion, like who's the best running back that Nebraska probably ever had. It's a case. It's a good case for three guys. I mean, you yeah. can now yeah. if you played it now, you can say or four. Or, or four. But you could say Mike Rosier, you can say Amon Green, you can say no. Lawrence Phillips. But I played with two of the two out of those three guys. Yeah. And you know, I, I know the difference between LP and and, and Amon. Amon is a great football player. Yeah. I take nothing away from Lamont. Yeah. I loved him his junior year when he ran for like seventeen hundred yards. Oh, yeah. And and I loved him in the Packers when he ran for what eighteen? If he would have uh, stayed for his senior season, his numbers yeah, he, would he be... would have won the Heisman, yeah. I think. Well. But you know, and, and and they're two different runners. Lawrence is now Amon was more like an Emmett Smith type runner his first two years here. You know that's the difference. But Lawrence was probably like oh, Earl Campbell, like a, a guy you don't want to go head up with. Not once they get that speed, but the guy did weigh about two fifteen, two twenty. But at the same time, you got to be a smart football player, Bach. If 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 I know I weigh two hundred pounds and two hundred five, and he weigh two twenty, and he's got a a full head of steam, Bach. That's a train wreck for mm -hmm. the, for me. You're not gonna get me on camera like that. Just fall down, Bach. Tape play, forever. Play dead. Tape forever. <laughs> Tape forever. Like that's and, and I I think so much of that gets missed, right? That the how. Elite players talk about elite players. Like, as fans, we can have our opinions. But having elite players talk about those moments and things that separate great players, elite players, and then goats. And the, the difference is so minute that, like, Ahmad had the better pro career. And it fit because he had to be, and then he had to go to several places to do it. Like the difference between those three runners in a pocket of 15 years that you can talk about. You could talk about three runners just from that era, just from that team. Yeah. I mean, I've heard people talk about some other runners on that team that Jay Gates, you know, was a dude. <laughs> Jay Sims. Yeah. Like that, that dude was a dude. So he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he still met these uh, like Mike Miller said yesterday 
But we got mad when we gave up one yard. So yeah. just imagine how I practice. But I mean, was. Damon Binning was the Orange Bowl MVP, right? Ninety six. Yeah, yeah. But you know, it, it, it's a lot. They it was it was just you know Nebraska has so many different running backs that they could probably start at any other program when we played, especially the four we had: just Clint Childs, Damon Binning, Amon, um, Lawrence. Then you got Jay Sims. You know, it it, it was five. They was five deep. Mm. It's it's sad when you. Not sad, but it's great when your fifth string running back get in there and run for eighty yards on his first get, first touch. Yeah. So I, I I I think it's all fascinating to me just to hear uh, Zadika was talking about uh practice and the matchups, right? And the, the the difference between and again it shows you when people say that sometimes the ticket can spend too much time in the past. I'm like, no. No, 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 because that's the standard. Like, knowing the difference, I've never heard today's players from Nebraska talk about each other the way elite players talk about each other. Like, the difference. I heard them mention that, look, Adrian went through, played through so much pain that we can't even, he's Superman. Like, we can't even talk negatively about him. I I love the fact that there's depth. Like, that tells me everything. And if you're just talking about one player, then you're probably not deep enough to be a great team. Mm, you're right. <laughs> it, it, even Tommy talks, smack. I mean, especially them, that day we know we got to face each other. I mean, I told Tommy all the time, if I catch you slipping, you know, because he was live. He wasn't blow the whistle. Or, or I mean, he ran the option. He know when to pitch it. I mean, he's just not, we're not going to let you zigzag through us like that. No, 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 no. We're going to take away every option you got. But, again, Bot, there's a moment mm. that Tommy Frazier was live. The most important player that some would say was the most important player on the most important team in the country had to go through his strokes. Like, he had to take his strokes. Y'all could hit Tommy Frazier. On a Wednesday. On a Wednesday. Yeah, it's before... live. <sighs> Different times, <Yeah>. bro. <laughs> Different times, man. But can you imagine uh, if your if your base if your base models the option offense? I mean, you've you've got to let at least a thump, right? I mean, because yeah, you you, if you're practicing it. option and you can't touch the quarterback, yeah. <laughs> then it's tough to practice. I think. Yeah, I mean, and, and Tommy was hard to tackle. I mean, that's that's yeah probably somebody that I probably had to wrap my body around to tackle. Like <laughs> I had to really wrap it around, him, like <laughs> like because he was just so elusive, you know. But his running style, like he was a running back playing quarterback. I mean, I I I, I watched him so much playing that I was in awe by just seeing his moves on the field. Like, did you just see him? shake old boy out of his shoes so like you know to have a quarterback like that and then it it goes on like i'm a big fan of eric Crouch. really i love eric Crouch when he played i mean i i probably got him as hmm, he's in the top three mm -hmm. so you know i heard ad them talking about the yeah. top three so it's a i mean a lot of people go different ways but you know it's still it's still fun to talk about the old days but you know as long as it's the fun part of it yeah i i think Having been of that age, that Steve Taylor is still a guy that doesn't. Get oh yeah, like like see, look, Steve in my top five. That's my buddy. Yeah, That's like my, yeah. like because Steve was tougher. Yeah, than Bill, right? He took a lot of shots, and Steve could have been the dude who ran for fourteen hundred yards if that's what was required. He just happened to be a dude who could throw it. <laughs> yeah, so. Those are interesting conversations when you want to get into the depth of of why things are the way they are and why they were the way they were. Well, and then you think about these like teammates too. And I'm, I'm not saying Steve, were, you know, all those teams had really good players, but you know, you wonder if he a couple of years earlier, if he was kind of had the Tourney Gill right. weapons. You know, who really knows? Right. So, uh, there's a lot. That's right. Lot in there. Hey man. <laughs> hey, look, look. I don't like. I mean, look. I know what the rest of the nation thought about Turner Gill. I know what the rest of the nation thought about Steve Taylor. I also know what they thought of the rest of the nation didn't give as much credence to Crouch and Frazier because of style of offensive play rather mm -hmm. than, than effectiveness and productivity. Look, Nebraska has the blessing of having 10 really good quarterbacks. 
who played here, 10 really good running backs, and leave 10 more sitting on the table mm. that you can't talk about as elite. So, you know, again, with one of the greatest linebackers to ever play at the University of Nebraska sitting in a room, <laughs> when you talk <laughs> about greatest linebackers ever, Ooh. he's got to be in the mix. Bach got that good music. Yeah. <laughs> well, when we come back from break, Bach, I'm going to tell you about Saturday and how practice looked to me and how the team is going. 93.7 the ticket we'll be right back Hi, this is State Senator Carolyn Bozin. As a state senator, wife, and mom, I believe Lincoln is a great place to work and raise a family. My husband Reggie and I are local family business owners and actively involved in our community. Last year, I voted for the largest property tax relief package in Nebraska history. Property tax relief is important to every family, and I will continue to deliver more property tax relief to working families. This is Carolyn Bozin, and I am asking for your vote on May 14th. Paid for by Bozin for Legislature. NIPCO is hiring CDL drivers for Ready Mixed Concrete, Husker Concrete, and Beatrice Concrete. NEBCO offers great pay, medical and retirement benefits, paid time off, and they pay for CDL training. Apply today and start your new career with a $2,500 hiring bonus. From NEBCO's beginning in 1908, it's the employees that have formed the company's solid foundation. Start your career today. Visit NEBCOinc.com. That's N-E-B-C-O-I-N-C.com. The Mill Coffee and Tea, formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11th, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. Whether you're looking for a place to stay for a concert at PBA, a Nebraska home game, or just a night on the town, the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket is the place for you. Enjoy an evening at one of many restaurants or bars within a short walking distance. Business travelers at the hotel will enjoy free high-speed internet access, a 24-hour business center, and large in-room workstations. And check out the Bistro, where you'll enjoy healthier food and beverage options, as well as high-tech conveniences. Book your room today at the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. If you're a homeowner or a business owner, you have a lot of projects, and no one has an unlimited budget or time. Sunbelt Rentals makes all jobs less stressful with no need to purchase large equipment or hire a crew. You can do it yourself with rentals and everything from aerators and power rakes for spring yard work, to stump grinders, concrete mixers, tile saws, and more. Check out their inventory in Lincoln, north of Cornhusker Highway on 56th Street, or online at sunbeltrentals.com. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. Nutrition Authority invites you to try Anarchy, which is an exciting free workout for athletes and fitness enthusiasts who want the most out of the workout. Anarchy can only be found at Nutrition Authority. Remember, when you want results, the solution is simple. Nutrition Authority. Stop in, call, or check us out at mynutritionauthority.com. What's your radon level at home? Don't know? Find out with a call to Bryant Air Conditioning and Heating. 467-1111 for radon testing and mitigation. Grab a free burger and beer at LA Power Sports of Lincoln on April 27th during their Husker Spring Game Tailgate. Meet the LA Power Sports team, play some tailgate games with them, and enter for a chance to win an official John Elway autographed football. 
Check out their huge selection of boats and watercraft for the summer, along with hundreds of motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-sides from all the major brands. Stop out and watch the game with them on April 27th. LA Power Sports of Lincoln, 27th and I-80. They'll be tailgating all day. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet and fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire at 402 402- 560-6197. Used to spotty shop where our customers send their friends. That's the greatest compliment we can receive. If you've been in an accident, we'll get you back in your vehicle as quickly as possible. Our technicians care about you and your family and repair your vehicle to factory standards. We handle your claim from start to finish and provide a free loaner car. Stop by for a free estimate. Used to spotty shop, just south of 88th and Highway 2. The most recommended this shop. That's who we are. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Back with Vershawn Jackson, powered by Bauer, on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Welcome back to The Ticket, 93.7 The Ticket. Bob, I went to practice Saturday. Seen some things I like. Seen a lot of things I like. Take the music out of it, Bob. <laughs> uh, seen some things I like. I really was impressed with that the quarterback play of both Dylan Riola and Daniel Kalen. I, I really like Daniel Kalen, how he was zipping the ball in there. Riola has an excellent arm. I mean, they both have a long way to go. Um, I think one of the bright spots so far in camp is the Young receivers stepping up. Jaden Dawes, uh, Lloyd, uh, Malachi's hurt, but those young two, two young guys I seen catch some great balls. Now, defensive-wise, I, I was really impressed with Coach Rule practice strategy of how he has everybody going at one time. Even the guys with the green jerseys on who is with no contact. That's like the people who's hurt. Mm-hmm. They're in drills. They're, they're over there doing something. They're not just sitting on the sideline with with, their, with with a hat backwards and or on a stationary bike. Those guys was doing drills also, and and you know they 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 pop, they thud it, but it was a it was a good popping thud. Some was you know I was really impressed with the size of the the running back from Oregon who mm-hmm. who who looks like a. a Herschel Walker's son type when he played, not Herschel Walker, but Evander Holyfield's son mm. oh, when he played at Georgia, yeah. kind of bricked up like him. Now, all the running backs have a long way to go too, though. But, you know, I think by fall, one of those guys will emerge, either Emma Johnson or Dadell, or that's his name, Dadell. Yeah, yeah Dante Dadell. Um, didn't really get a chance to look at Banks or or the other, other receiver that we got from um, Texas. But, you know, as, as a I, I was impressed with everything they did, you know, just the way Coach Rue has those guys running around. Now, if we could just put that puzzle together and, and, and let everything play itself out, I'm very confident. Probably right now, I would give them probably eight wins right now. Eight. Oh, wow. Hey. Eight. It could go down. It could go up, Bob. <laughs> so, but right now, for me seeing what I've seen and how the players are reacting to everything, I mean – you got to understand this for the defense. Now, if these players can't understand this part right here, then they have no business on the field. Once you, I know the defense you, you knew, but once you, you know, my first year playing at Nebraska, I kind of didn't know what I was doing. As the year grew on, as the year grew, I, I learned 
my position. Now, when I come to Springbok, I'm not fighting for for a position. I'm polishing my skills because I know from last year that it's still installed in my head. Now you want to be a perfectionist. Now you want to know. Now now you got to play the game with no mistakes. Like you got to know your moves. You got to know your reads. And that comes from knowing your position. And, and like I said, and the coaches gave a lot of praise to a lot of players. Now you got Shavers. And that, I said his name right this yep. time? Yep. Vincent Shavers. Vincent Shavers. They they love him. Kid from um, Florida, like I told him um, earlier on, Jamel type, Jamel Williams, Randy Stella type of guy, myself type of guy, 205. Um, only thing I didn't like on him, and I told the coach, I said, hey, coach, he was telling me about Shivers. I said, I didn't get a chance to look at him, coach. He said, he's number 51. I said, coach, you can't put a guy that little in the 50s. <laughs> oh. Give him a 40 something. Give him, <laughs> give him a 20 something. Give him something. You can't put a guy like that with a 50. Mm. I had number 50 something when I first got here. Yeah. I didn't like it. You should have told him, give him 43. Uh, uh, Mike Booker, son. Oh, my, that. yeah, that's right. But yeah. Mike, Mike Booker Jr., I want to talk about this kid because he picked up 20 pounds, moved a linebacker from what he was, corner safety. One I think of he was, yeah, yeah. Think corner. Was safety. But this, you know, Coach Rule had a lot of praise about this guy. Got to talk to his daddy and, and, and say, hey, this is what we need out of you. This is how we need to get him right. You know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta get somebody that can and, and sometimes just – sometimes it takes for somebody just talking to a kid for it to click. You know, my clicking point was I played so good at Nebraska in my when I first got here, but I got called to the sideline one day, and my coach said, if you don't blank, blank, blankety, blank, hit somebody, you will never play for me. And after that day, guess what? I learned how to hit. I mean, I didn't learn, but decided. I, I, I decided, decided to. You know uh, what? I want to play. Sacrifice my body a little bit more mm -hmm. because I was too finesse. But I learned how to sacrifice my body and be finesse at the same time. So that what made me me. But sometimes I would like to just talk to these some of these kids and say, "Hey, this is what you got to do first. You got to clear your mind first for, you know, just understand what what these coaches are teaching you. They're not teaching you the wrong thing." Don't sit here and say, oh, in the back of your head, I'm going to do it my way because, first of all, the coach is going to grade you off the way he coach you. Mm -hmm. So if you can't – if if you're uncoachable, then they're probably not going to put you out there. How, how much – how important is it? I mean, I think it gets lost sometimes that that it isn't defined what is keeping you all on the field or off the field. Like, just to say to a player, look, do you know why you're not playing? Some have a bad attitude. Right. Some, some is just attitude, right? Like, and like and, they, they, if, if, you if, if you tell, them. if you, if if I say something to you and, and you swing your arms and pout, then that's not a good fit for the team because now you want to be that eye person. That's one thing. I mean, if you're gonna, you, you take your cussing out or take your blessing from a coach like a man. Mm -hmm. Just turn your head. Hey, let's get. Hey, and then that's what you got teammates for, and they get, they walk up to you and say, "Hey, let's get it right." I, I think. That is a big part of coaching is your ability to communicate exactly what your standing is and why. Like, it's one thing to go, you know what? This is just the way it is. No, that coach is is problematic. If you know that, listen, quite frankly, Farley fits better defensively. Farley, Farley attacks the passer at a higher level than the person behind him. That's why Farley's Farley. Farley has, uh, he spends more time in the playbook. And say, Farley, the difference between you and Wilbur Marshall is time in the playbook. Well, now you have <laughs> the GPS to set. You know what's required. Hey, man, F Farley, you got you can't make business decisions in the hole, man. We need for you to run through. <laughs> but it's just that simple. That's why I need Jay to go ahead and knock the fullback out from me, and then I just come in and clean up. When you know what your place is, then it makes everybody else better around you. And then Jay knows this is what Farley needs from me. You know what the expectation is. Far, former knows what the expectation is, and you work together. There's too much. There are too many times, especially in recent years in this program, where it was me, I didn't understand. There's just it. It when when I when you watch practice and then the the communication that happens, paying attention to what coaches say, and then more importantly, what the players acknowledge. What did they receive? 
Well, I, I can I can say his his practices are totally different from Frost. So okay. one thing I can say that that Frost didn't demand like rule demands out of his players. Okay, because first of all, the coach demands greatness out of you, mm-hmm. and if you got music going on during pre- playing or uh, practicing, that's one thing rule don't have. He have rule he have music going when they run to different stations, but you know nobody wants to play with music. But you know he 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 got. He, he's a different coach than Frost, and um, you could tell by the way the university is. I mean, how the, the way he's getting these kids, and Cam Linhart looks good. Um, Elijah Judy looks good. Um, what's our Chief Border looks good out there. I mean, it, I, I mean, it's a lot of guys out there. I mean, it's just they this team got to learn to to come together as one. Let me ask you guys this, because I think it's interesting. It's something that's happened before. And I just looking through Twitter, Sammy Kuhn uh, tweeted out that Nebraska's defensive back coach, Evan Cooper, said Isaac Gifford is one of the best players in the country. Gifford has no weakness, Cooper said, and is a coach's dream. Of course, obviously, that's good praise for your player. Um, but, I, you know, that's been done before, too, at Nebraska. And it always it hasn't always worked out the greatest where you say this guy is the best player you know, and this is not to 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 bring down Isaac Gifford at all, but he he wasn't all Big Ten or or anything. Um, so, w- do you like you know that kind of confidence trying to, to trying to build that in a player? Or I mean, it's it just reminds me of back when uh, uh, Diaco said uh, Joshua Kalu was one of the best safeties in the nation, and at that time we believed everything Diaco said. He was the new guy that the athletic directors and everybody was telling John Cook and everybody on the team, listen to this guy. He knows how to coach. Um, and it just never played to fruition. And I, I I kind of even think Matt Rule, to a degree, you know, he said, and, and we'll wait and see, but he said John Bullock's an NFL player. I haven't necessarily seen that. So do you kind of like putting the pressure on him and and, and by saying, you know, best player on the team or something like that is is, is one thing, but to, to compare him nationally and say one of the best players in the nation? Well, I, oh, let me see. Put it like this, Bob. A player got to let his plan speak for himself. Uh, probably not the recognition he he gets. Uh, coach is always gonna have his player back. Now the thing um, Gifford has to do is go out there and, and, and play like it. I mean, not later on in the season, not the beginning. You got to do this all through camp, all through the season. And and if you want to be the best, you know, at the end of the year they got a they got a team for you called the All American Team. I mean. Yeah, you don't have to be on a great team to be an All American. You just got to go out there and bust your butt and play football. But you know, I, I think that's great for a coach to to say that. I mean, we all know. <laughs> obviously, we watch games, so you know, I I've seen some mistakes before. But he's a good player. You know, he got a lot of room for improvement. But like every player, every player has a weakness. But I think as a coach, you try to he help said him. Gibbard has no weaknesses. Well, every player has a weakness. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. I. Mean, I, I, I I kind of say I hate to believe that part right there. Yeah, it, it's the credibility. It's the credit. It's the credibility. Yeah, that if a coach tells me that a thing is absolute, and then it's not, then I believe that coach. I believe him, whatever he says, because he's telling me whether it's the true thing or not. Like, oh, this coach doesn't know what the best play, linebacker mm-hmm. in the country looks like. Well, I believe it when I when I turn the game film on. So if I have to go. Nash, you know, well, but if I, if I, if, if he told, hey, this guy reminds me of, of Terrell Farley, uh, I don't know what you've seen, but if you tell me he, he, he's another Farley and then film shows up and he ain't Farley, uh, I can't listen to nothing you say. It's going to be hard to believe you next time. <laughs> but right? I can't listen to nothing you say, bro. Yeah. That, that, that's not Farley. That's not even Farley adjacent. <laughs> like that like what no well and it's it's gone it's gone very poorly before i mean remember scott frost saying that adrian was making pa- or practice and practice only that guy down the road in kansas city makes well yeah, that yeah. didn't happen did it? i mean that didn't end up <laughs> well, adrian's a fine player but he's not patrick mahomes well but for, this is the part like it's that part and again transparency matters and if you're invited, like all of this great stuff is happening at practice. Why would you not invite me to practice to see it verified and confirm it? Well, he could have said, Hey, this kid probably is gonna be the next JoJo Dome. You know, you you can probably say that because JoJo's in the league. But this is that's the point, is this is this is Isaac's last year. He had to return for this year. And I think he's a fine player, but he's not he's not he hasn't been quite JoJo Doman in that role. 
and so I think that that's where, you know, and that's where I think he gets a, a little bit of, you know, for some fans saying, well, he didn't do that. Well, not everybody's going to be that. I mean, Jojo Doman, remember, played like nine games or something and, and was recognized as an All-American. Um, it, so it, it's hard. I mean, that role, especially that, that, that kind of in between safety, the, you know, the nickel spot, uh, nickels kind of changed over the years from being the third corner into kind of a hybrid safety. And, and I think Gifford's fine in it, but I don't know if I would say he's the best we've had in the last, you know, five years. I mean, you bring in Jojo Doman in that spot. But if, is, is that the standard? Is, is, is that the standard? Like, I, again, be careful what you, what you say to people. If you tell me that Jojo Doman is the standard of play at linebacker, Nebraska, one, it tells me that you disregard regarding and devalue an entire history of great linebacker play. Of well, folks, well of, this is kind of the, the rover nickel type of role, more right? So then, just yeah, but, straight up linebacker. But had you put Terrell Farley in that position, and allowed him to play football the way Farley played it, that for knowledgeable football people, you go, no, <laughs> that well, they're not the same. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a linebacker. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> you, you you hear this dude, right? He's a football player play, making football plays. And one made football plays at a higher level and more important games against better competition than the other. And you can't even argue that. So, okay, <laughs> whatever your standard is, I'm going to believe your standard. And I'm not going to tell you wrong. I'm just going to hear you different. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's all. Season coming up. Hey, right, man. Mm-hmm. Well, they did enough to give you eight wins right now? Hmm. Seven and a half, seven point five to eight. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. All right, you took me down. Seven You're moving down a little bit. Look, yeah, already, already. Yeah, the coach said that I had to take it now down. Like, one notch. Minute, yeah. Yeah. Two minutes seven, later, Farley seven, was like, "It's a half." Seven point five. They <laughs> lost a half a game. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Ninety three point seven, the ticket. From Hollywood to South Central. Nutrition Authority invites you to try Anarchy, which is an exciting free workout for athletes and fitness enthusiasts who want the most out of their workout. Anarchy can only be found at Nutrition Authority. Remember, when you want results, the solution is simple. Nutrition Authority. Stop in, call, or check us out at MyNutritionAuthority.com. Hey there, fellas. It's your girl, Jordan, with Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Women may be complicated, but I make sure buying jewelry isn't. Your gal has a style, and you can figure this out. Is she more of a classic necklace kind of gal, or does she rock the boho chic vibe with layers of delicate bracelets? This is crucial intel. Not trusting your intel? Stop in the store and we'll sort out the details. I promise to make this super easy. Until next time, this is Jordan at Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Happy shopping, guys. Sick of being upsold at gyms? My guy, you're currently a base member? For $90 more, I can upgrade you to our Shred membership. For $130 more, you'll be a swole member. And for just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. Never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for every workout. It's fitness that fits your budget. Join Planet Fitness for just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. Wall-to-Wall Wine and Spirits is now open in Lincoln. Shop our expansive collection of wine, beer, spirits, and cigars at 5040 North 27th Street. From top-shelf liquor to crowd-favorite beer, Wall-to-Wall Wine and Spirits has a beverage for every taste and every budget. Plus, join our loyalty program to earn rewards and save on future purchases. Shop Wall-to-Wall Wine and Spirits at 5040 North 27th Street in Lincoln. That's 5040 North 27th Street. If the week's been too hectic to even think about dinner, or your family can't handle one more night of leftovers, then it's time to let Hogwild do the cooking. Hogwild's family packs are one heck of a good deal for a complete barbecue meal loaded with all the smoked meats, tasty sides, buns, and sauces you need to feed your family. Order online at GoHogWild.com. Hogwild Pit Barbecue, 3210 Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. But don't be late, we close at 8. 
Grab a free burger and beer at LA Power Sports of Lincoln on April 27th during their Husker Spring Game tailgate. Meet the LA Power Sports team, play some tailgate games with them, and enter for a chance to win an official John Elway autographed football. Check out their huge selection of boats and watercraft for the summer, along with hundreds of motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-sides from all the major brands. Stop out and watch the game with them on April 27th. LA Power Sports of Lincoln, 27th and I-80. They'll be tailgating all day. NEPCO is hiring CDL drivers for Ready Mixed Concrete, Husker Concrete, and Beatrice Concrete. NEPCO offers great pay, medical and retirement benefits, paid time off, and they pay for CDL training. Apply today and start your new career with a $2,500 hiring bonus. From NEPCO's beginning in 1908, it's the employees that have formed the company's solid foundation. Start your career today. Visit NEPCOinc.com. That's N-E-B-C-O-I-N-C.com. Whether you're looking for a place to stay for a concert at PBA, a Nebraska home game, or just a night on the town, the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket is the place for you. Enjoy an evening at one of many restaurants or bars within a short walking distance. Business travelers at the hotel will enjoy free high-speed internet access, a 24-hour business center, and large in-room workstations. And check out the Bistro, where you'll enjoy healthier food and beverage options, as well as high-tech conveniences. Book your room today at the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket. Used to spotty shop or our customers send their friends. That's the greatest compliment we can receive. If you've been in an accident, we'll get you back in your vehicle as quickly as possible. Our technicians care about you and your family and repair your vehicle to factory standards. We handle your claim from start to finish and provide a free loaner car. Stop by for a free estimate. Used to spotty shop, just south of 88th and Highway 2. The most recommended used to spotty shop. That's who we are. Looking for a job that feels like family? Join Lincoln Industries, where tradition meets innovation. They're a family-owned, privately held manufacturing company with a passion for excellence and a commitment to their community. They have openings on all shifts at both the main plant and air park facilities, offering flexibility to fit your schedule. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, there's a place for you there. At Lincoln Industries, they invest in their people's success, providing opportunities for growth and advancement. Apply now and become a part of something special at Lincoln Industries. Be a memory for your grandchildren. Among Nebraska adults age 65 or older, 47% report current alcohol use. Drinking too much can cause harm to children, family members, and loved ones. By drinking less, you will still be around for your grandchildren. If you or a loved one is looking for help, find a treatment facility near you at findtreatment.gov. For immediate support, call, text, or chat 988. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. Back with Vershawn Jackson, powered by Power, on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All righty, righty, righty. The last segment for the day, Mark. Who was it? What we got next, Mark? Uh, I believe it's two hours of happy hour today. Uh, character is, is out, so uh, I believe that's what the plan is. Yeah, yeah. that is the plan. That is the plan, Nick and Rico. Yeah. Uh, they'll probably draw often in a little bit and let's see what they got to talk about. Yeah, they had two hours yesterday. Took advantage of it. You did? No, they did. Have oh, hour, okay. Yeah. Oh. No, I'm just looking at they just sent the Supernova tickets over, so we'll have tickets to give away. Oh, nice. they, they're gonna, there's another drive to break another attendance record, so mm. uh, we're going to help push that. Um, we head to Atlanta. Take battle between one and two. The vibe again. Yeah, one and two. The final meeting until what we imagine would be late you know, postseason. What what's um? How's your first year doing the announcing for? I mean, how how you figure? I mean, how would you give yourself a grade on that? Oh, I'm a tough coach. Yeah, I'm a tough coach. Um, I'm proud of what we do. Um, I'm proud of what I've learned about volleyball at the highest level um i'm naturally curious Baco confirmed that that i am <laughs> i don't have to know everything i should be curious about everything so learning different sets schemes rotations uh different pass sets uh different recovery uh you know, transition in volleyball is the same as transition in basketball we don't necessarily correlate them too but that's what it is is defensive pick opportunity what do you do how quickly you get into it plans of attack who who you want sometimes matchups matter more than talent um 
theology like what are your thoughts on this how do you want to attack this yeah it, it there's a lot there's a lot to learn and i i would never disrespect volleyball uh to say that i picked it up that 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 i know it all no um but i am authentic in calling what i see and coach renee saunders has been exceptional again nine time nine straight state titles uh, in volleyball she can break it down coach bird uh, is fantastic in sharing information. The players are really good in sharing uh, what they're thinking. And the, again, these are some of the best athletes on the planet. Forget about a country. These are some of the best athletes on the planet. So mad respect um, for the recovery, the work, the workouts, um, keeping track of all this stuff. And then the talent in the league, man, like, I, I, I don't know. I, I tell people, just jump on YouTube and watch Atlanta and Omaha. Uh, in various games in the season it it's it's pretty amazing let me ask you because I, I think you said it before about san diego is that they don't have the crowds that that omaha does and obviously omaha's picked uh you know been picked for the championship uh game is what what are the other cities that that are kind of uh really embracing it and what are the ones that maybe haven't quite got there yet so here's what what's interesting is that san diego when we were there on a two on a thursday night on a tuesday night wasn't a great crowd but they played Sunday and it was packed. Mm. Packed. Maybe weekend oriented more. Packed. San Diego, yeah, packed. Yeah. Right? There's no the Padres home opener isn't isn't competing, right? Um, packed. So they, they 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 there is a way. Orlando is probably my favorite place in the in the Federation to go because the fans show up and they stay and they know the game, high IQ. Um Atlanta, they're they're sort of finally figuring it out but i mean they draw you know five six seven eight thousand depending on the place so mm. it depends on the place uh grand rapids is fantastic uh columbus is fantastic great i mean you're playing where the nhl teams play right mm. so like we play where the blue jacks play so the facilities are great um they're figuring it out and i mean omaha is kind of the standard nobody else is drawing right. the 12 you know 10 12 thousand like like omaha um, and I think Omaha will continually be the standard and the North star for how it's going to be done, but the Federation is doing well and it's fantastic. We go to Atlanta. Um, we play in the gas South arena. You know, that area, uh, as my friends say, well, that's not really Atlanta, Atlanta. That's closer mm -hmm. to South Carolina. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like I was, he lives in my buddy Griff. He lives in Atlanta proper. And I told him where they were playing. He goes, Oh Yeah. That's an hour and a whole half. city. Yeah, that's a whole <laughs> other part of planet. I'll get my helicopter and fly in uh, for the volleyball game. So yeah, it's a thing. I, this this has been an exceptional year. This is amazing. I'm gonna I'm gonna pivot here because I did tweet this out, so I do want to pay off on it. Um, so Big Ten basketball again lost uh, the championship game. Hasn't won a, a championship since the year 2000, uh, and has been 0 and 8 in their game since then. My question was, what happens first? Nebraska gets a conference title in football because it's about the same amount of drought. And when I see something that has a similar drought, I always say, well, what will happen first then? So I kind of think about that. Nebraska gets a conference title in football, which is the drought since 1999, 0-4 in conference in, in championship games since then, 2006, 2009, 2010, 2012, or the Big Ten wins a championship in college basketball. Uh, and he's in kind of, I, I think this question might've been a little bit more interesting a few years ago. Now conferences are so big that it's, it's going to be very difficult for one to make an all big 10 team because there's 18 team teams in it, <laughs> but another to win a conference championship. And then I start to even think like how valuable is a conference championship? Cause we see it in basketball where Illinois won the big 10 tournament title, but would you trade that with Purdue's success in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, you probably would. And so I kind of think about the same thing when we get into regular season, when we expand this playoff to 12 or 14 teams. And if you're Michigan or Ohio State, would you rather win the Big Ten regular season title or make it further in the playoffs? Probably want to make it further in the playoffs. So that's a little bit of a different conversation. But just let, let me ask you guys that. Um, Nebraska conference title in football or Big Ten national title in basketball? Similar droughts. What happens first? Ugh. I can't believe you want me to answer this question, Bob. <laughs> Putting the pressure on you. Whew. How many <laughs> years can we go past? Well, as as many as it's going to take because yeah, they both it's probably going to take about. Yeah, you don't have to project it in the next two or three years. 
Well, I know it's not going to happen in the next two or three years <laughs> for either. Man. 2034? Is that a conference title for Nebraska? Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ask, the Ask the question again. Ask the question again. Ask the question again. What happens first? A, a, a championship for a Big Ten team in college basketball, the drought's been since uh, Michigan State did it in the year 2000, or a conference championship in football for Nebraska. The last time they did that was 1999. Big Ten. Mm. Big Ten. Because more moving parts. More the, the the equation fits. Um, one is lightning in the bottle, and one is conceptually, mathematically more likely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or you could have said <laughs> more teams. Creighton more, winning more a basketball championship before Nebraska wins a a national championship yeah. before Nebraska wins a conference championship. Well, that's interesting, and and I I touched on it there for a second. Like there was a time when that conference championship drought was embarrassing and something that needs to be you know, and it's still going. But I think that there's just less of an importance on winning conference titles moving forward because of how we're expanding the sport. I, I think I think it'll be more important to win conference titles because it's point of business relationship. The people that you b- do business with on a more regular basis, you have to have standing there than you do on the national level. Like, yeah. You, you got to figure out how to beat USC and Oregon and Washington. You got to figure out how to be better than Iowa and Minnesota then it's more important than what's going on in the SEC. Uh, you got to figure out, hey, man, you got to be king of your neighborhood. But you get my point. Like, if you yeah. win, you can win the SEC, similar to what Georgia and Alabama have done, already done this, where you can win the SEC and not win the national championship. So conference titles, I, I think a bigger playoff, the less the conference titles matter. Whereas, you know, back in the day when you didn't even, you weren't guaranteed a playoff and you weren't guaranteed a national championship. So if you won a conference title, at least you had, at least you had that. I have to th- I have to imagine that my work on the regular day-to-day basis has more priority and focus than the end result. The end result, national champion, is the end result of me doing a bunch of things right on a daily basis preparing to win a conference title. I cannot look at the national title as the thing. I can't. I need to I need to I can't worry about being the number one station without having the number one show every day (laughs) every day well there's the music (laughs) hey hey (laughs) all right y'all so tomorrow i guess we're gonna be here tomorrow anybody anybody heavenly waffles tomorrow I don't These know. I have not. But I have not talked to Chef Bob. Chef Bob about, was yeah. on with uh, Megan Walker last he night, so he was here. So I would imagine that may, if, if they're in town, they'll be here. Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying. Do I got to see if I can come early or not? Yeah, come early. <laughs> I'm already come here. Early. Come, early. <laughs> come early. Come early. Come early. Right, else, so you know, nothing yeah. else. You can get egg whites from, from you know. <laughs> <laughs> or a cold. Bur- I love the um burritos. Yeah, man. All right. Take us out, Bach, for the day, Bach. I'm gonna let you have that pleasure. All right. Thanks for Derek Pearson DP for jumping in for uh for Rashawn today. Uh we've had a great show. Go back and listen to it on the ticket FM if you missed it, or YouTube, or I mean you can find it in, in a variety of ways. We're on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, uh, and Allo. Uh so we'll, we'll any any of those ways we encourage you to continue listening as well. We got a great show ahead. Happy hour again, two hours. We'll be back on the captain tomorrow here on 937 the ticket. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM Firth, 93.7 The Ticket. Wall-to-wall wine and spirits is now open in Lincoln. Shop our expansive collection of wine, beer, spirits, and cigars at 5040 North 27th Street.